Today I'd like to take a casual peek into my special goodie haul report uh, focusing on the goodness that is Mini Maids. I was going to do uh, just one of my regular uh, goodie haul reports uh, for the month uh, when I realized uh, when gathering all of the goodies together that uh, there was a big portion uh, of uh, Mini Maids uh, related stuff so I decided just to do a uh, Mini Mate uh, goodie haul uh, all by itself and uh, you can see here I have quite a few and uh, I also have uh, some that I had ordered online so I guess we'll be doing sort of an unboxing as well so uh, but uh, this particular video is just gonna focus on all of the neat uh, Mini Mates that I was able to pick up in the last month or two and uh, I've actually been away from the uh, uh, the uh, the hobby of mini mates and uh, just getting back into it uh, recently. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why is because the um, availability of mini mates uh, in uh, my area seemed to have dropped off uh, during the summer early uh, fall and. It just uh, was like a serious drought and uh, a lot of it had to do with Toys R Us uh, because I, I had picked up a lot of my mini mates through Toys R Us and it seems like the Toys R Us is in my area at the time I just did not really carry them. I thought they may have just stopped carrying them all together um, but uh, uh, it looks like uh, they've uh, picked up again and uh, also uh, I was able to find uh, other mini mates uh, through other uh, venues, so like I said, uh, through online as well. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, take a peek at all of the neat, uh, cool uh, sets I was able to pick up. And uh, we'll just go through the, the, the bags here and I'll try to remember where I picked up because uh, all of these uh, sets are from different places. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and take a peek here, pull this one out. Uh, this one here is a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy set. Uh, and uh, this one here is uh, one that's uh, from uh, a specialty shop. Uh, this is a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mini Mates uh, is uh, where I started noticing a comeback of Mini Mates. It was a... The sets uh, before the Guardians of the Galaxy just were not showing up in my area, but then I s started seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy Mini Mates come out at Toys R Us uh, right before the movie came out, and I was really excited again. But I noticed uh, when going through it that they did not have the uh, Gamora set, and it looks like uh, the Gamora and I think it's the Nebula uh, sets are out. Uh, exclusive uh, to specialty shops. They're not available through Toys R Us, which is a real bummer. So uh, I had picked up uh, the ones at Toys R Us, uh, but I, for the longest time I uh, could not find a Gamora set. And I was able to pick one up at uh, Cards and Comic uh, Central in San Francisco, California, actually just this past weekend. So. Uh, pretty happy uh, to pick this up. Uh, this one I sold it for ten ninety eight. And this is uh, the Gamora and the uh, Novacore uh, Centurion. Pretty cool. And um, oops, uh, the all new X Men Mini Mates here uh, is a relatively new uh, release. Uh, not too new. I think it's available in, for the past month or so. Uh, and uh, this one I picked up at uh, World's uh, Best uh, Comics, I believe it's called. Or World's Finest Comics. No, I think it's called World's Best Comics. Uh, it's a comic store in uh, uh, in my area that's been around, I'd like to say, the longest uh, in the city. So, pretty cool. Uh, they have uh, here the Cyclops and Marvel Girl for 10 bucks. Pretty neat there. And I was able to pick uh, this one up uh, at uh, Cards and Comics Central uh, this weekend. This is uh, the Wolverine set, uh, the movie uh, The Wolverine. 
Uh, it's been out for a while, but uh, this particular set was not available at Toys R Us either. Uh, they had the other Wolverine movie sets uh, for the longest time, but uh, this one I think is exclusive to uh, specialty shops as well. And this one is, of course, uh, the Undercover Viper and Black Clan Ninja. And uh, I have quite a few of the uh, mini mates from uh, the Wolverine series. Uh, it's, it seems like uh, Toys R Us had flooded it. Uh, this is right before they, the drought began <laughs> during the summer, uh, this past summer, and uh, they had a lot of these. I think that's why they uh, they skipped a few series of Mini Mates, Toys R Us skipped a few Mini Mates because they had uh, just too many of these Wolverines. And I was able to pick up a whole bunch of the sets that included the uh, Black Clan Ninja uh, for like $3. So it's uh, good to have another uh, Black Clan Ninja, but I'm, I'm actually really happy to get the Undercover Viper since that just was not available anywhere I could find. Even the specialty shops in my area, I just found this one uh, just this past weekend, so... And that's uh, pretty cool there. And I was able to pick up this particular uh, set. This is a, uh, looks like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, a four-pack set of the Uncanny X-Men Days of Future Past uh, Mini Mates, which is pretty cool. You have a future Wolverine, a future Kitty Pride, a future Sentinel, and Mystique. And uh, I think uh, this is was released uh, just around the time of the movie. Now, this is a comic version of the Days of Future Past, not the movie version, so... And I'm glad that they have this, and I'm really uh, kind of glad to have it, especially for the Mystique, because I saw some news that, uh, I was going to say Freedom Force, uh, but the uh, Brotherhood of Mutants uh, set is coming out, uh, including like uh, Pyro and the Blob, and uh, to have Mystique in, the, in that uh, collection would be really, really nice, so that's one of the reasons why I picked this set up, and also I'm a fan of the uh, Days of Future Past storyline from the comics. So, pretty cool here. And uh, kind of neat, they also had the Senator Kelly uh, face there, so you can never uh, assume uh, his role there. And he even has a transition face, so that's kind of cool. There, pretty neat. And uh, over here, I was able to find this neat gem here, uh, DC Minimates. Uh, uh, DC Minimates hasn't been produced for a long time. Uh, they produced a, a while uh, a while ago, but it looks like uh, they didn't uh, keep the license uh, to produce uh, DC Minimates. So uh, these are n really uh, no longer available through uh, r regular retail. You'd have to go to a, a secondhand shop, specialty shop. Uh, yeah, see, this was released around 2007, but um, I was able to find this uh, neat little gem at a place called Toy Fusion, which is uh, like a consignment shop uh, of pop culture items, and uh, what's really cool is I was able to find it for $5, which is uh, really, really nice, uh, and you got the Batgirl and Bane there, comic versions of those characters. And just really, really cool to find this, especially for this price, because uh, this particular set uh, is uh, not sold as cheap as uh, what I would paid for it. So pretty neat that I was able to find this. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy to get uh, any really DC mini mates uh, nowadays. Uh, go through here. Oh yes. Uh, we have here a new release of the Pulp Fiction, uh, uh, looks like a four uh, figure set, and I uh, have the uh, dancing uh, Vincent Vega and the uh, dancing uh, Mia uh, from the scene of uh, uh, Pulp Fiction uh, where they won that dance contest, uh, pretty cool. And then uh, you also have... Uh, <laughs> couple other uh, characters, Lance and Jody, uh, <laughs> from uh, after their, uh, <laughs> their uh, uh, Jack Rabbit uh, Slim's uh, dance contest there, uh, the events that occurred there. <laughs> and um, 
pretty cool. And I think this is part of the anniversary release. I think it's been 20 years, maybe? 20... No, I'd like to say it's been over 20 years now. I'm trying to remember when I saw this movie. I think it was 92, 93. Something like that. So, pretty cool. I remember watching this in the theater. And I, lo I love that, uh, that Quentin Tarantino movies. And, uh, pretty cool that they release uh, this uh, particular set there. Let me get that in the focus. It's kind of blurry there. Very cool. Pretty neat to have this. And I see I paid $20 for this set. And this was at uh, World's Best uh, Comics. Oh, pretty nice. Also at World's Best Comics, I was able to pick up here another uh, all-new X-Men uh, Mini Mates of uh, Beast and Angel. And it uh, looks like they gave me a lollipop. Uh, this was uh, right before Halloween. And I was able to pick up uh, that Stuff from World's uh, Best Comics. Another all-new X-Men set of the uh, Iceman and a Sentinel for uh, $10. Pretty cool. And I uh, have the Iceman in his uh, frosted up, I guess you could say, form there. So, pretty neat. Uh, digging through here a little bit more. Oh yes, uh, I was able to pick up the variant version of uh, Iceman, but uh, they call it, of course, uh, Bobby Drake because he's not iced up. But... Oh, pretty cool there. And I uh, got another Sentinel there. I think that's all in this bag. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a peek at uh, what we have in the next bag. I was able to find uh, these here, uh, a four-pack of uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. And this is a Toys R Us exclusive. I just picked this up uh, actually just yesterday. And uh, pretty neat. And uh, this was $15. And uh, these are characters from uh, the video game of Plants vs. Zombie uh, Garden Warfare version. And uh, this is a game that uh, Munchkin Number Two likes to play quite a bit. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, um, I guess, a more uh, kid-friendly shooter game. I could say it's not. Uh, it's a shooter like Halo or uh, Gears of War or Call of Duty, but uh, of course, it's uh, the two factions are plants and zombies, so it's more kid-friendly. <laughs> And uh, Munchkin number two uh, likes playing that game quite a bit. And the uh, neat thing about that game is that uh, he can uh, buy booster packs, basically power ups to enhance uh, any of the characters that he plays. So, pretty neat that they have this in uh, mini made form. He got two zombies at the top and uh, four plants. One of them's hidden behind the sticker here. In this particular set and uh, I got uh, a couple of those sets either to army build or uh, give one to much number two uh, if he's uh, interested in the mini mates there so pretty neat now this is actually uh, a second set this is actually set number two I found out just recently so I'm gonna have to find uh, a set one I guess I have not seen a set one available but uh, to keep an eye out for that. I was able to pick up an X-Men Days of Future Past uh, mini mate set of uh, uh, Charles Xavier and Bone Claw Wolverine for $10. Now this is based off the movie version of the storyline, which I, I enjoyed quite a bit. Uh, it was, uh, when was that, in the spring when it came out? And uh, these uh, just came out uh, within the last uh, month or two. So, pretty neat to get that. And uh, it does come with a wheelchair there, so that's kind of neat. And it looks like an alternate torso for uh, Bone Claw Wolverine. This is probably when he uh, wakes up uh, to that uh, to that song. can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, let's, uh, let's see here. We got a Gal Guardians of the Galaxy set, a Toys R Us exclusive. I picked this one up uh, when it first came out, uh, right before the movie came out. And uh, Yondu and uh, Sakar Trooper. And uh, I think this was like $7.50. So, 
This is uh, the one you can pick up only at Toys R Us. Oh yes, uh, we have here a four pack uh, of Kill Bill, uh, volume one and two. Uh, this one is of the Crazy 88 gang. And uh, like Bill said, there aren't really 88 of them. They just like to call them the Crazy 88 because uh, it sounded cool. And uh, another Quentin Tarantino film. I I really enjoy his films. And uh, cost twenty dollars at World's Best Comics. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, basically, just a uh, suited figures there. Uh, but of course, uh, head sculpts that represent the uh, Crazy 88, as is shown in the movie. They even have the female uh, that member of that team there, which is neat. And you notice there are four bodies and uh, six heads on there, so you can, uh, like it says down here, mix and match, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. And that's celebrating its 10th anniversary there. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years since that movie came out. I thought it was uh, older than that. <laughs> so, uh, we have here X-Men uh, Days of Future Past. Uh, another set of Professor X and Future Magneto, uh, which is neat. Uh, I wonder why they didn't put Future P Professor X on there. So that's kind of interesting that they put Future Magneto on there. And of course uh, we have... Uh, Sir Ian McKellen there, and Sir Patrick Stewart there, and uh, pretty cool, it comes with a wheelchair there, and I'm trying to remember in the movie, was it a floating wheelchair in the movie? I can't see here if this one is a different version than the younger Xavier uh, wheelchair, where did I put that? And that's kind of hard to tell, it looks like the back of the seats are the same. But whether one has wheels and one doesn't, I don't know. I can't remember if the one in the movie was a floating chair or not. I have to watch that movie again. So. Oh, cool, another Kill Bill set, four-piece set. Now this is the House of Blue Leaves set. And uh, of course we have uh, the Bride there. And Oren uh, Ishii there. And uh, Sophie Fatal down here, and Gogo Yabari <laughs> there. Uh, he even has her uh, ball and chain there, which <laughs> is pretty cool. Now, of course, you have uh, a splattered uh, bride in the uh, Bruce Lee inspired uh, suit there, so pretty cool. I'm hoping that uh, the, the Mini Mates uh, folks uh, release other uh, Kill Bill sets uh, uh, in the future. I know that they're releasing one with Pai Mei in it and uh, I can't remember who are the other members but I hope they go even beyond that uh, because uh, I really enjoyed uh, Kill Bill um, when it was in the theaters and um, still waiting for the uh, I guess the release that Quentin Tarantino was said he was uh, going to do, uh, the, um, I guess this combined single movie version, uh, since it was separate movies uh, back then, and uh, even on DVD, uh, I don't think uh, it's a combined version. Uh, he talked about it for a while, but I don't know if he ever is going to follow through with uh, actually making a single, combining it to single film. So, pretty cool uh, figures there. Glad to have that. Continuing to dig on here, we have Future Wolverine and Future Storm from the uh, X-Men movie. Pretty cool, and you have an alternate head there of Storm uh, with the whited out eyes, so that's kind of cool. And looks like she has a, a, a flight stand there, so that's kind of neat. And you, of course, you have uh, Future Wolverine there. Let's see. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy set, Star Lord and uh, Ronin. Pretty cool. And uh, uh, we have a young Magneto and Mystique here. Pretty neat. 
And uh, another Pulp Fiction set. This is a two-pack of Jules and Vincent. Pretty cool. There. And uh, he noticed uh, he's got a uh, Kahuna burger. And uh, a nice uh, soda to wash that down with. <laughs> and, of course, you have that case. And, uh, of course, uh, the... Uh, the wallet there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's actually inscribed on there. Uh, I don't know if it's on the other side or not. Uh, it'd be cool if it had an inscription on that wallet. <laughs> uh, we'll have to find out when we open this up. Uh, kind of doubt it, but uh, it'd be really nice if they did. And uh, I would uh, really like to have uh, these two guys in their... Um, in their uh, in the alternate suits uh if you know what you mean if you know what i mean uh, when uh, i mention their other uh, version other suits uh not really suits but shirts and pants <laughs> that'd be really cool if they would uh release a version of that and i wouldn't mind having uh mr wolf <laughs> mini mate and uh other characters so uh, take a look here. We have a Drax and Groot. Pretty cool. And another Drax and Groot. And oh, I forgot all oh, Rocket Raccoon. So it looks like I picked up two of these. I'm not sure why. Uh, but it looks like I picked up a, a couple of those. So that's a nice big pile here. Now, um, we have a uh, sort of an unboxing as well to go out uh, with this video. Uh, we have here a uh, sets that I was able to, mini mate sets I was able to pick up through uh, Luke's uh, toy store. And uh, what I'll do is I'll post a link down below. Uh, it's a web store that caters primarily to mini mates. And uh, these are actually two separate orders uh this one here i actually placed an order for just for the longest time uh, a long uh a while ago when uh, the drought was occurring uh, during the early summer uh, because uh, i really couldn't find the mini mates that i wanted uh, at toys r us so i had uh, placed an order through uh, luke's toy store but i just never got around to opening it until uh, i got uh, this uh two here and uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and unbox these and uh, take a peek we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one first because uh, this is the one that arrived first I think uh, I'm trying to remember when I placed the order for this one um, I think it was like maybe even the springtime just uh, I never really got around to opening it. Let me see uh, what the, if there's a date on here. Let me. Oh yeah, I placed the order uh, back in July, <laughs> end of July. So, all right, uh, let me put this down while I cut it open here. Whoops. And I'll explain a little bit uh, more as we uh, reveal what we have in here, uh, why I went to Luke's Toy Store. Okay. This is a, a taped uh, pretty tight. Okay, here we go. Cool. Let's just pour these out here. All right, we've got a few sets here, and it looks like a comic. I don't remember ordering the comic. Okay, that's interesting. We have a comic by IDW, uh, Battle Beasts, and um, Battle Beasts is a property that was made into Mini Mates. And I really don't remember ordering this comic. This is number one, so pretty cool. And uh, 
was able to pick up a few Street Fighter versus Tekken sets uh, that were on clearance uh, from what I remember. I think these were like four to six dollars. And uh, these are mini mates I was not able to find uh, through either a specialty shop or Toys R Us. This is of Cami and Nina. Pretty cool. And uh, this one is of Poison and Lily. So uh, pretty neat. Now I have the other uh, Street, Visor, Street Fighter versus Tekken sets. Uh, so. That's cool, and these I never found at Toys R Us. I think these might have been specialty shop specific uh, sets. So, pretty cool. And uh, these uh, particular sets were uh, the reason why I uh, picked up... Um, uh, this is the reason why I got uh, these particular sets, this particular order through Luke's Toy Store, uh, is because uh, these uh, are from the Captain America Winter Soldier line, and uh, for whatever reason, Toys R Us did not carry this line. I was lo really looking forward to getting it, um, but I don't think uh, Toys R Us uh, released this. Uh, this particular line I was really bummed and that that's where that drought seemed to have occurred uh, at Toys R Us so and uh, for whatever reason the specialty shops did not carry these particular figures until just recently uh, in my area so I, that's why I had placed the order through Luke's toy store and uh, you could see uh, as a set of four I thought there were more I thought there were a set of six uh, no, I guess they're a set of four. Uh, we have here um, Black Widow and Falcon. Uh, really excited about the Falcon figure. And uh, we have Agent uh, Sitwell and Batrock. And what's this here? Looks like they included something. Free accessory. Thank you for your order. It looks like a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> okay. So they included that. Yeah, they included... Uh, Classic Captain America and Winter Soldier. Pretty neat. And uh, we have a stealth uniform Captain America and Brock uh, Rumlow. Or Crossbones. And um, I thought there were more than just these four sets. I thought maybe there might have been a variant of something. I guess not. Yeah, I thought there might have been a variant of either Winter Soldier or... Uh, or maybe I'm thinking of the comic one that was at Toys R Us, of the Winter Soldier. Because I know the comic version of Winter Soldier had one at Toys R Us, and there was a specialty shop exclusive. But uh, maybe here it's just an alternate head that's uh, probably hidden in the packaging here. So, but uh, this is the main reason why I placed the order through uh, Luke's Toy Stores, because it's just not available at Toys R Us or any of the specialty shops in my area at the time so pretty happy to get uh, these guys here and this is a nice bonus I, I can't remember if I ordered that or not so pretty cool and uh, then we have uh, these two these are two more uh, orders or actually two more packages I should say from uh, Luke's uh, toy stores uh, it's actually one order, but um, I, I wasn't even aware of it, but uh, I received this box here and uh, was about to do the unboxing for this by itself. Uh, then I uh, received an email saying that uh, they did not uh, complete my order. And so they had shipped the, this one separately until... Uh, I think it was until it was available for them, uh, it was like three weeks later. So that's I held off on unboxing this until this arrived. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a peek at uh, this one order that I placed. Let's pick up this one here. Cool. And it's uh, basically another uh, Kill Bill uh, Crazy 88 set here. Uh, and I really had to get another set uh, because 
four is just not enough. <laughs> and um, I have eight of these guys here, and I'm going to mix and match various heads there to produce the 88 gang. Now, I won't get 88 of them because, like I said, uh, or like is quoted in the movie, there weren't 88 of these guys. <laughs> So, um, I, don't, I may stick with just these eight, uh, <laughs> crazy eight here, and uh, I possibly may pick up another one if it becomes available, so uh, I just <laughs> had to get another, at least one more of those, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. this and <laughs> here we go uh, we've got um, a few sets here uh, quite a few of them uh, duplicated <laughs> uh, like the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and I gotta explain this a little bit but um, when the Guardians of the Galaxy sets uh, showed up at Toys R Us of course they did not have the uh, Gamora set here, and uh, because that's not a Toys R Us, uh, it's a, a specialty shop exclusive. So, uh, you picked up the sets, you know, at Toys R Us initially when they first came out, and then uh, I tried looking for the Gamora sets uh, elsewhere, uh, like through specialty shops, but could not find it at the time. And I end up finding it at uh, Luke's toy store. But the problem was they didn't have uh, a Gamora set on its own. You had to buy the whole wave <laughs> in order to get the Gamora and the Nebula. So, which is another ex uh, specialty shop exclusive. So I ended up just picking up this set. So uh, entire set just to get the Gamora and the Nebula. And... Uh, of course, I have a, a third Drax and Ghost and Groot and uh, Rocket Raccoon set and a second uh, Star-Lord and Ronin set. Uh, so, I don't know, I may just uh, give this to Munchkin number two or uh, or this one at least. I can put one with a mask and one unmasked on there. And uh, I do, this is the second Gamora set now. Uh, after I had placed the order and waiting for this to ship, I did find the Gamora later at a specialty shop at, uh, uh, recently, just this past weekend, so, so I sort of have uh, duplicated these guys, which is not too bad, again, because of the Nova Corps Centurion, so I just have an extra Gamora, which is always good, so, there, and I don't have the Nebula, so this is my first uh, Nebula there, so, pretty cool, and I'm trying to remember how much these four cost, I think, uh, cost... Um, I think it was like 20 something to get those four. And uh, taking a look at these, these are from uh, the Thor The Dark World sets. And they had these at uh, Toys R Us as well. Um, but uh, of course. Two of them are not exclusive uh, to Toys R Us, or I should say they're exclusive to other places other than Toys R Us, uh, mainly these two sets. So I picked up uh, this four piece set uh, to get these two because, uh, so I have duplicates of the Loki and Heimdall and uh, duplicates of Thor and Malekith. So pretty neat sets though. But uh, here we have Darcy Lewis in a Dark Elf and, and Dr. Eric Selvig in a Dark Elf. So it's not too bad. I get uh, Army build some Dark Elves there and just have duplicates of these two sets. So pretty cool. And uh, these were actually on clearance, uh, this whole four pack set. So that's not too bad. So. And, uh, and then we have here a couple of more, or actually four more sets from the Wolverine the movie. And uh, I got them primarily for the sets that were not available 
uh, at Toys R Us again because of the drought it seems to be going through uh, uh, during the summer. Uh, the Urban uh, Yukio set uh, is a set that's exclusive to specialty shops and I believe the, the underground cover Viper uh, was exclusive to specialty shops. Again, I placed the order of this uh, a about a m month ago and then found just yes or this weekend the undercover Viper so I have a duplicate of that of this but it, again not too bad because of the uh, Black Clan Ninja so I have an army building of those so but uh, you have here uh, the suited Wolverine and Mariko Yashida and uh, Urban Yukio and uh, another Black Clan Ninja so that's cool and uh, Wolverine Street Fright and Shingen uh, Yashida and I have uh, quite a few of these guys because uh, these were on clearance for three dollars at Toys R Us at the time so pretty uh, neat pickups of Mini Mates uh, nice mess there <laughs> and uh, I uh, just had to dedicate a separate video, oops, a uh, separate video, and it looks like uh, my video is ending there, so. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time.